Now, let us discuss the expression for drift current in terms of drift velocity. For that, let us consider a cylindrical conductor like this, in which one end of the cylindrical conductor is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the other end to the negative terminal of the battery. Clearly, this side is positive and this side is negative. So that this side becomes positive and this side becomes negative. Since the electrons are of negative charge, it will move towards the positive side. So electrons will drift towards the left like this. There will be so many electrons. For our convenience, let's, let's draw only three electrons. Now we know that the electron is moving with a velocity called Vd, the drift velocity. Suppose in order to find the drift current, let n be the small letter n be the number density of the conductor. Number density. Number density means the total number of electrons divided by volume. And let us take a small region, a small cylindrical region inside this conductor like this. Let delta L be the thickness. Delta L be the thickness. Now we have drift velocity Vd will be always velocity is equal to displacement by that is delta L divided by time. Therefore, delta T will be delta L divided by drift velocity. Let us call that as equation number 1. Now, we, we need to find how many electrons are present in this red cylinder or in this cylinder we marked. For that we have number number of electrons. If you use this equation, number of electrons will be number of number density into volume. That is total number of electrons n will be. You know number density, a, let's say write that as n itself. Volume is equal to let a be the cross-sectional area. A means the cross-sectional area. Cross sectional area and you know volume will be volume is equal to cross sectional area into length the base area into height will be the volume so here v is equal to a into delta l so that is the total number of electrons let's call that as equation number two so that total charge total charge we we need to find the total charge inside this red cylinder total charge you can write delta q will be total number of electrons into charge of an electron you know e is the charge of an electron let's call this as equation number three now what is the expression for current we have current or let's write electric current electric current i will be you know current is equal to charge divided by time charge rate of flow of charge is always the current so delta q we have delta q is equal to n e divided by delta t we have delta t is equal to delta l by v d from the equation 1 delta t equal to delta l by v d so this n is equal to we have n equal to n a delta l into e divided by this v d will move up so you can write v d here and delta l clear so that this delta l and this delta l will get cancelled therefore i will be n a t e into v t so this is the expression for 
current in terms of drift velocity clear clearly i is directly proportional to drift velocity when the drift velocity of the electrons increases the current also increases clear